The next thing that we will be talking about is features of Apex or our features of Apex which are written down over here. Let's have a look at uh, all of them one by one. It upgrades automatically. What that means is that uh, you do not have to download the latest version of a particular compiler or of the runtime. It all happens automatically. So you do not have to uh, worry about maintaining the updated version of the Apex that you are writing down or the compiler or anything which is associated with it. Uh, number two feature over here and like preferably the most important feature uh, which I really love about Apex is that it is already integrated with the database. What I mean by that is like let's take an example of Java. In Java, in order to connect a program created in Java programming language, we had to connect it with a connector, preferably a JDBC connector with a database and uh, we had to first make a connection then statement object and I don't know what all things we had to do at that time and then only we could uh, write down the queries or statements in order to insert something into the database or get something out of from the database. But in term, when, when you talk about Apex, I am telling it to you, it is very, very easy because it is already integrated with the database. With the database. So if you want to get something out uh, from the database into Apex, all what you need to do is you just need to like uh, write down the query inside a square bracket and that's it. That's all what you need to do. Whatever the uh, whatever the database will return will get stored into the list which you have assigned over here, which we'll understand later on in the topic SOQL. But it is already so much integrated with the database that you really feel like doing nothing about managing the database or anything. If you want to insert something, if you want to update some data, if you want to delete some data into the database, all what you what you have to do is you just need to write down DML statements like insert, update, delete, and along with that you have to just write down the list uh, of the records which you want to update, insert, or delete, whatever you want to do. So it's very, very integrated with the database and that's one of the very important features of Apex. Next is, it is it has Java-like syntax and it is easy to use, as I said earlier as well, it is very easy to use. It is easy to test as well and let me tell you why it is easy to test as well. Because it provides an inbuilt functionality to write down the test classes, uh, like in which we will be having different, different test cases and it also provides a framework to execute those test classes and see the relevant result of the test cases that we executed onto the particular class or particular program, right? So it's, it's very easy to test. It has got a multi-tenant environment. What that basically means is that there are multiple, like multiple tenants who are using the same environment in a shared mode. So all of your data, all of your, uh, yeah, all the things are happening at a same place in the, in the same server or, or onto the same platform. Uh, yeah, so where, where we, where we are sharing the resources and hence there is, uh, uh, yeah, where we are sharing the resources, so there is no running out of the resources that might happen unless until you write down a code which, uh, which tries to monopolize the resource. So that's what the case is. Next, you can save your Apex code against different versions of Force.com API. So yeah, I mean, imagine you, uh, you've written down a code three years back and uh, you're worried that now the next update is coming, what will happen to that particular code? So it will be, it will, it will, like, it will be saved into the, like, the version with which you created it and newer versions will not impact that earlier code. So that's one of the worries which uh, a lot of uh, developers had earlier uh, while creating applications or write, while writing down uh, yeah, applications for the uh, enterprise users, right? So that's not uh, something that you need to worry about in here. And it is a case insensitive language. Again, Java was a case, in, case sensitive language and Apex is a case insensitive language. So that's a little bit of difference that we might have in uh, Apex. But I always recommend people to write down uh, uh, in, into, uh, into a case sensitive manner. And why? Because uh, it is easy to go from case sensitive to case insensitive because you actually do not have to, you just have to forget about something called as case sensitive. But the opposite becomes really difficult if you sometime have to go into go and work into a programming language which is case sensitive. So it's better not to lose the habit of writing down into the case sensitive language rather than uh, just picking it back up back again. So yeah, I'll still leave it to you.